This clock represents the inner working of a modern CPU in a mechanical manner. Just like a CPU, it contains registers, arithmetic logic unit, memory, bus, and a control unit. The current hour is read from register A in binary format. The most significant bit is at the bottom and the least significant bit is at the top. So right now the current time is 2 o'clock. For explanation of the clock, I have the clock running much faster than in real life. Usually, the ball will only drop once an hour. The CPU clock contains three registers, A, B, and C. Register A is configured as an adder, incrementing the hour every time the ball drops. Register B is configured to reset the hour to zero, whenever register C is equal to 11, since we are counting in zero base, so zero represents 12. The buses are the wire connecting the registers together so that the data from register A is copied over to register B and C. The clock also contains a control unit in the form of two tracks, A and B. The ball will go to either track based on the condition of the DTD flag, which is set whenever register C is equal to 11. Here is the code that the clock is executing. Line 1 is at the top of the clock, implemented with a wall. When the ball is on track A, it will hit the wall and drop to register A. In, in register A, it will increment the register and check to see if register A is equal to 11. If the check is false, then the ball will end up on track A and the ball gets lifted to the top again. However, if register A is equal to 11, then the ball will end up on track B and will be lifted up to the top again. Since the DTD is true this time, the ball will be on track B and pass the check by moving over to register B. Register B will clear itself to zero and copy the data via the bus wires to register A. It will then end up at the bottom of track A and move back up to the top and the whole process repeats again.